Hello, it's Pierluigi from Geo Designs, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can duplicate a component. So as you can see right here in Figma, we have this stat component, and this is the master component. And the reason I know that is essentially I see these four tilted rectangles on the side of the component name. Now, in order to duplicate the component, uh, it's uh, very easy. Simply use command C and uh, command V to paste. And I believe that in Windows uh, it's going to be control C and uh, control V. And at this point, uh, as you can see, we created uh, this uh, duplicate uh, component, which we can see over here under the layers panel. Now the difference between uh, the main component, uh, which is uh, the master component, uh, and uh, this component, which is uh, referred to as an instance, uh, is that uh, the master component is essentially going to dictate uh, all of the styling of uh, its uh, child. So it's a parent-child dynamic. Now in order to detach uh, the instance, which means uh, making this component uh, non-related uh, to the parent. It's uh, very easy. You can simply right click uh, and then go all the way here where you see detach instance. And uh, what this is going to do is uh, it's uh, essentially going to detach uh, this component uh, from the master. So as you can see now, when I change uh, any of uh, the stylings really, the, that uh, uh, component is not going to be affected. So this is how you can uh, do it in a very easy way. The same works uh, also for multiple components. Uh, you can simply use Command C, Command V to copy them. Uh, and then uh, you can uh, simply right click uh, detach instance uh, in order to detach them from uh, the instances or even the main component. And another way that you can uh, detach the instance is by selecting uh, this uh, three dots menu and using the detach instance. So I hope this uh, video was helpful. And if you want to learn more about uh, Figma completely for free, check out the link in the description as we have a lot of uh, free resources on our website, as well as the playlist in our YouTube channel.